Hey there, internet friends. Trevor Starkey here with a quick uh, Trevor Trove Gaming on Sunday. Uh, there wasn't too much in the news this last week, or at least not too much that I felt really worth talking about, uh, and, and I really just kind of want to jump back into God of War, because I've been spending a, a large chunk of the weekend enjoying that game. Um, but uh, I will kind of touch on the, uh, the story that made the rounds when uh, Casey Hudson from Bioware kind of made a blog post about like the future of Anthem, uh, mostly in that it's weird that it was a story, because it was like there's no real information coming out from, from that post uh, outside of like hey, this is a Bioware game that's going to focus on story um, for Anthem. And it's like, uh, okay, I mean, we kind of figured it would. Yeah, it sounds like there's also going to be, like, a ongoing kind of gameplay element to it, a la something like Destiny. Um, but the, the fact that they seem to be doubling down and saying, like, story is our focus, um, and in the same post mentioning, like, hey, Mass Effect Andromeda didn't get a full story because we didn't give you the Corian DLC for uh, for that arc because the game had a whole lot of problems and didn't sell as much as EA wanted it to and so they canned any kind of expansion stuff so I don't like I mean Casey Hudson can come out and make this post he can say you know all the right things for Anthem but I don't buy EA I don't trust EA's kind of corporate structure to necessarily support that unless uh um, you know, I, they will have to give it time if, if they want this game to be, you know, not go through the hurdles that Destiny and now Destiny 2 has gone through of like, okay, like, people are going to consume everything they can in the first, you know, two, three weeks, if not months of the game, um, and then you want them to keep coming back, uh, I imagine they're going to have to, like, really basically, like, let the game kind of sit done for six months while they work on like regular content um to kind of have a regular calendar of stuff coming out uh and make it more uh in the vein of something like monster hunter recently which has seemed to um keep people kind of satisfied with the post-game content uh in a way much more than destiny 2 uh, has and i imagine destiny 2 will probably go through the exact same cycle of destiny 1 did where these first two expansions uh, kind of lose a lot of people, and then whatever the Taken King thing that probably comes out in the fall is, um, that, you know, that'll breathe new life into the game, because I imagine that's where most of Bungie's resources are right now anyway, is working on that thing um, uh, to try and right the ship and, and again, give Destiny 2 a new life. So uh, in order to avoid kind of all of the negative ness that something like Destiny 2 has had, um, Bioware and EA, in turn, is going to have to actually support giving them enough time to build a game and enough time and support to, like, have the the backlog of content to roll out um, uh, after launch. Uh, and, yeah, just, I mean, with, with how Mass Effect Andromeda came out clearly to beat the fiscal year end for EA... Um, I I just don't trust EA's business structure and model to, to really do that. I imagine we'll get to, you know, fiscal year 19 wrapping up or something like that, and they'll push it out before it's maybe done, and uh, and we'll see kind of the cycle continue, and, and you know, uh, hopefully Bioware doesn't get shuttered as a result of that, but I kind of don't, I kind of don't know, because EA doesn't make the best choices and, and of course they also you know came out last week and said that they're learning their lessons from Star Wars Battlefront 2 um, but yeah, again the proof will be in the pudding so those are my thoughts on this kind of story which I thought was very much a non-story like I remember people retweeting the the blog post and reading through it and being like okay like I don't I don't know what what the news here is because um, none of it feels like news but um, it's, it's one of the big stories that, uh, that kind of came out this week, and so something I wanted to touch on uh, for this video. So those are my thoughts on Bioware and Anthem and the future of that studio. Uh, let me know yours in the comments below. As always, I've been your host, Trevor Starkey, from trevortrove.com. You can follow me at SnarkyStarkey on Twitter. And until next time, from here at the Trove, treasure your friends.